Okay, hey everybody, we're going to look at the first of the two problems. This one's going to be all about the disappearing coin trick. You're going to find that most of you, I think almost all of you, but most of you at least, your main problem was writing down the problem in the first place. In other words, when you did this on the day in physics class, you were told very clearly by myself that what you had to do was draw a proper diagram of what was happening. You had to explain yourself what was going on and what exactly you were doing. And by looking at the homework, I can tell that many of you did not actually do that. So this is sort of a lesson in making sure you write down what you see exactly and that will change what you do. So let's take a look at that. I got myself a coin sitting on the ground there and I got my I got my glass and so what did we do first? Well we, we, we took the glass and we uh, sat it on top of the coin like so and uh, what did we do next? Well we, um, we filled this sucker up with some water so when I filled this up with water Oop. All right, that's pretty nice. Um, the coin went away. Now, this is what most of you did. Most of you said, okay, well, let me see. Well, Mr. Gale, there was a, uh, let's see if I'm looking at the coin here. Uh, the light uh, went up and then it uh, refracted. Let me see which way would it go. So, is it bigger or is it smaller? It's bigger. So, that means uh, I've done something like this. Now, you would have said, okay, um, then I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it from here, and uh, really, the, the, I, I, was, I was looking at it up here, like so, and then the light refracted, so it's down here. Now, if that was true, if that was true, then all you would have to do would be to move your head down a little bit. So here's what I think you should do, is while you're looking at this video, you really should get yourself a glass of water and put it on top of a coin or some object that's on the ground and see if, if all you have to do is just simply move your head down, do you see the coin? Now, what you're going to find is that, wait a minute, it's still gone, but there's a bigger problem. I can see the coin all the time if I'm looking through here. I can see the coin all the time. Even when I pour in the water, I, I, if I look down through the top, I can see the coin. It didn't disappear. When did it disappear? Wait a minute. I drew the diagram wrong. You were supposed to be looking at the coin from the side from the side from the side of the glass and almost everyone in the homework drew a light ray that went up to the top surface and then refracted like so what does this tell you it tells you that you didn't draw it correctly you just didn't draw the diagram that was the whole problem. Your main problem with this whole thing was that you drew it coming out the top. When in reality, if you do this experiment at home, you will notice that you are looking through the side. Now, is that a big deal? Well, let's take a look at that. Let's see what kind of difference that makes. If I'm looking, let's say, okay, so let's consider that I'm looking at it like this, or I'm looking at it like this. Now, just draw this. What is the biggest difference between these two directions? Why is it so much more different to look at through the side of the glass as opposed to the top of the glass? Now what we got to do, I guess, is observe what the normals are like. So let me see. The normal for here would look like this. And the normal here is okay. So the normals are actually pretty much almost 90 degrees to each other. So there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Now the question is, is uh, 
what what is what is actually uh, different in this condition versus this condition. Well, one thing I can notice immediately is that I have two different incident angles. And one thing I can say is that for for this one right here, my incident angle is much, much bigger. It's just a lot bigger. In fact, uh, the more, even if I looked at a bigger angle, say I was looking and my head is, you know, I was looking from up here, like that. Well, then let's look at the, if I look at that now, my incident angle is even bigger. Even bigger. In fact, if I had to look at it, it looks like it's pretty well at least uh, 45 degrees. At least 45 degrees, if not more than that. In fact, to get less than 45 degrees, I'd have to be looking at a really, really, really small angle over here. I'd have to be looking something like that. And At that point, am I really going to see that coin anyway? I don't know. I don't think I can get my eyes that close to the table to see that. So let's, so let's just look at a typical situation and see what we're trying to say here. I've got a light ray in the middle of my coin. And it's going, let's say, like right here. And what's going to happen? So at this point, you'd say, well, if I had to do some measurements, I could say this looks to be about, incident. I could say my incident angle is equal to about what? We'll say 50, almost 60 degrees. So we'll just say 50, we'll just say 50 degrees, 50 degrees. Now here is where we have to remember all the things we've learned about uh, the refraction of uh, light that's going from, in this case, it's going from water to air. And the end value for water is equal to 1.33. And the air is, uh, well, we I know it's not exactly 1, but we say it's 1. So then if I want to find out, okay, what is the refracted angle, I would have to say, okay, that would be 1.33. I'm sine of my incident angle, which in this case I'll, I'll just say it's 50, and that's equal to 1, 1 .00 times sine of my <coughs> excuse me sine of my refracted angle. What 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 is going to be um, what's going to be this angle? Because remember, if I'm going out, my angle is going to get bigger. I'm speeding up, so the angle is going to get bigger. It's going to get bigger on this side. So uh, should look something like that, right? So what I'm looking for is if I look at this equation, I could say, okay, um, theta r is going to be equal to inverse sine of 1.33 sine 50. Now what is that? Well. Let's take out our calculator. Let me see. Maybe I'll, I'll, get, a, I'll get a calculator out of here. Whoop, there's my calculator. Yay. Okay. So let me see. I got 50, 50 sine all right, times 1.33 equals, uh-oh, uh-oh. I've got a number that's bigger than 1. If I try inverse sine, let's try inverse sine. Inverse sine, I get an error. It's not going to work. Why is that? So, um, so no answer. Why? Well, if you thought about it, you probably know that actually what happens is that you are going to get total internal reflection. In fact, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get anything here. This is not this is not going to happen. It will only entirely reflect on the inside of the glass. Now, how can you be sure that this is happening? Let's take this one step further. Let's assume that, um, say, I'm gonna, let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up the glass even more. Uh, hang on. Let's turn this off. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up the glass a lot more. And if you're looking at this, you'd say, okay, well, the the coin has disappeared. That's true, Mr. Gale. Um, it says that I would have total eternal reflection. 
So this should not happen. I shouldn't see this here. There's no command of this. But I will get um, this perfect reflected angle that will bounce and I assume go here. You say, well, yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. So does that mean I would see it over here? No, no, you would not. Uh, well, wait a minute, would you? Let's, let's just look at this now. Let's, 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 let's drop the water down a bit and look at this. If the line is going to go from the coin to the side of the glass, bounce back, bounce back. Let's drop some of the water down. Mm. Uh, whoops. What was I trying to do there? Give me one second here, guys. Uh, oh, this is not working out for me. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay, good enough. Oops. Well, pretend there's a glass there. Which means, which means, if I wa went over to my glass and looked down, but I didn't look through the middle, I looked through the top, yes, I should see two images, stay with me here, <coughs> two images of that coin. Let's think about this for a sec. Okay, so um, let's take that away. I'm going to have that. I know that's going to come up through the top. I should see the coin below. But aren't I also seeing an image along the inside face of the glass? Shouldn't I see that as well? Because this angle went in, it reflected and went up to your eye, which means if you look, now you should do this. Get a glass, and I'm, should I see both the glass at the bottom, but also another image of the, of the coin hitting, coming from the side, the inside face of the glass. That would prove to me that this would act with, acted with total internal reflection. In other words, the inside face of my glass should be acting like a mirror. It should be acting like a mirror, and I should see it. Now, the glass is circular, which means um, if I look from above, um, I'm looking down the glass. The glass is like, well, it looks a little curved. So this, this image is coming up and bouncing up to my eye, which means uh, the image I see is going to be some sort of weird warped version of it. It's not going to look normal. It's going to look a little strange. But otherwise, I still should see something there and on that edge of the coin. So that's what you need to look for, and that answers the question. Now, um, go through this slowly, make sure you understand what's happening. But, of course, the best thing you can do is to take a glass and do the trick yourself. But remember where the main problem came from. The main problem happened because you did not draw the entire diagram correctly. You blindly drew it thinking you knew what was happening, but you did not draw what you actually were doing. And that's what the most important thing is, is that if you do not draw it right, there's no way you can answer the question, which is exactly what happened. Nobody could really answer the question because nobody really drew it right. So anyway, that um, should help you out. Great question. Anyway, I'll go on to the next video now.